It's a brand new season of ABC's What Would You Do premieres on Monday. The hit show reveals how people behave when they think no one is watching. And here's a look at what's in store. There we go. I'm John Quinones, and this is What Would You Do? Our hidden cameras are rolling on you, America. This is What Would You Do, the TV show. Are you serious? And we're always there to find out what you would do when you think no one is watching. Oh, my God, is this What Would You Do? Who are you? I love you. I love your job. We're soaring into our biggest season yet and traveling to every corner of the country. Along with my partner and correspondent on this journey, Sarah Haynes. I just think you're terrible at your job, that's it. Are you just gonna stop at some point or not? We'll push the envelope. You have no right to shoot about her like that. For intense reactions. I'm a immigrant, start again. Yo, relax, relax. Yo, yo. Would you risk stepping in for a stranger? Uh -huh. I was literally watching the whole time. You're the best. Thank you so much. No, I kind of mind my own business. Who needs your help? Can I give you a hug? Is yeah, that right? yeah. You have tears in your eyes. Tell me why. You have to stand up for people, because if we don't, nothing's ever going to change. It's not what other people think about you. It's what you think about you. You gave her a hug. I just don't like people being cruel, man. Thank you for standing up for us. Don't worry about that. Everyday people will prove to be heroes, but the question is, what would you do? And ABC's John Quinones, host of What Would You Do, is here with more on what we can expect. John, I love when you came on to give us a little preview of what we're going to see. Yeah. So what sticks out to you about these, these scenarios that we see play out this season? That in every one of them, in the end, you know, you'll sit there and no one does anything and the day seems very long and then suddenly a hero steps in and does something totally unexpected. And it's often the person you would least expect to step in and intervene and sound the alarm and lend a helping hand. Uh, it's, it's really uh, restores your faith in humanity at a time when the country seems, let's face it, pretty divided. It does. And it, we watch these clips and it's so emotional, not only the people in them, but I feel like even when you're watching the show, you feel that way. Mm -hmm. Do you still feel that way so Absolutely. many years later, 17 seasons of 17, doing this show? Yeah. And do you still feel surprised by what happens? Yeah, yeah, constantly. It's always... There's never a dull moment. You know, we're sitting behind the scenes, and then someone does something so touching, and in a way that you know no one expected. And I look around, and these veteran cameramen who are with me, who have been covering wars and natural disasters, are in tears, oh, wow. and I'm in tears. And you have to, you know, sh you know, you have to toughen up and go out there and hold on. I got to do some TV. <laughs> yeah, I got to do a show to do here. But it's amazing. Sometimes people step in, even when it's threatening. Right? I asked one woman. I'll never forget. I said, you know, you intervened. Weren't you afraid of that guy, that he was a big guy? He might have turned on you, because how many times have you heard sure. that the Good Samaritan, right, winds up getting hurt? Uh, she said to me, fear can keep you from doing a lot of things, but it should never stop you from doing the right thing. Wow. Was there one story this season that sticks out to you yeah. more uh, than the rest or, or a few that sort of come to well, mind? Well, we did this one at a car wash with that Latino woman who started crying. Uh, it, it was a racist belittling a man, uh, an immigrant Latino, washing his car, saying, you know, these immigrants are terrible. We should build the wall, kick them out of here. And a lot of people ignored the injustice or the racism, but one woman in particular stood up to it and uh, she said, look, you don't know what he's going through. Maybe it's his first day on the job. And, and, and then I tap her shoulder and she dropped to her knees crying. She just said, I love your show and, and thank you for shining a light because immigrants like me go through this all the time. Mm -hmm. And those are the people who stand up and most of the time and do the right thing. People who have been through it, who have personally experienced the mistreatment or the racism that we showcase in these scenarios, those are the people who step in right away. She was a Dominican immigrant who had washed cars wow. herself. Wow. Yeah. And of course, you don't know that going no, into these no, scenarios. Uh, what do you hope people take away from the season? I hope they realize that, you know, uh, when all is said and done, the quality of our lives and the health of our society depends in large part to how well we treat each other, you know, in these small, minute interactions of our daily lives. Um, 
our very health as a society depends on it. And at a time when this country seems so divided, the show restores your faith. And we know those positive actions can be a domino effect too, oh, affecting yeah, so many absolutely. other people around you. John Quinones, always yeah. great to have you, John. Great Thank to be you. Here. Thank you, Diane.